Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to another edition of Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal and this is my side YouTube channel which is all about technology and my various weird tech interests including but not limited to optical media backups, uh, connection bonding and really whatever else uh, comes to mind for me to post here. Today we're going to be talking about Google Takeout. Um, and it is commonly kind of presented as, well, Google does have a backup solution. It's called Google Takeout. In this video, I'm going to explain the problems with Google Takeout as a backup solution, not intended to diss Google because I've been a paying Google Workspace customer for a very long time, way back uh, before it was Google Workspace. I think when I joined, it was called uh, Google Apps, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it's gone through a few branding iterations since. So my purpose here is not to say Google Workspace sucks. Google Workspace is amazing. I use it um, absolutely every day. And as a Linux user, I love Google doing everything in Google because it makes it easy for me to work with uh, people on other operating systems. You don't need to worry about, um, will your stuff you created in LibreOffice display well in Google Word? So I do everything I can in Google. But as a data uh, backup, I don't know if enthusiast is the right word because it's it makes it sound it makes it sound like we really uh, people who care about this stuff really like backing up. It's not really that. It's more that we dislike the idea of losing data, and it makes us nervous to have our uh, personal data committed to only one entity. In this case, Google, a third party. I don't recommend doing that and I do recommend that people who take backup and data protection seriously try always to adhere to the 321 rule of data protection which I have mentioned quite a few times but let's go one more time three copies of your data original data set plus two copies that's this is how I understand the rule two copies of that data some people like to use the two to say it means that it should be on different formats like one should be on I don't know, LTO, one should be on, I don't think that makes sense, just two different copies, that's the two for me, and the one that what everybody agrees on is that one is off-site, that means that one copy is geographically separated somewhere else so that if your house burns down, God forbid, you won't find that you've lost all your data. So how can we apply this to our Google data, the stuff that we create in Google, whether we're talking about Google Drive documents or Google Photos albums that we're creating or, you know, maps in Google Maps or YouTube videos, right? YouTube is a Google product. So how can we back this up as consumers? So the common recommendation is to use Google Takeout. Now, what Google Takeout is, is basically, and I'm not saying it's not useful, but I think from a backup perspective, it's not that useful. Google Takeout is kind of, I would, I would regard Google Takeout as a data liberation tool, right? It's intention, I don't know exactly why Google built this product, this kind of bolt on to, um, they offer it both for Workspace and for regular unpaid Google accounts. It basically takes all your stuff in Google as best as it can and buckets that out to an archive. You can choose to go uh, zip or tar gz, you can choose the max volume size, uh, but basically it buckets up all your Google data. Now I would, this is my guess as to why Google made this, two use cases in mind. One of them would be uh, compliance, like people, organizations that want to have, they need to have their cloud data stored locally and they might need to do this once a year. So you can just do a Google takeout, put that on a hard drive, put that on the desk and say, we're done. And the second use case that I imagine would be people you leaving Google, although it's not in Google's interest to make this process easier. You know, if you're a Google customer and you want to move over to Microsoft, one way of prepping for that would be to just dump all your Google data spit it out of the cloud, download it and put it on, you know, and then move it on to the next cloud. So those are the two use cases I would have in mind. Now, okay, here, the two problems that I have with Google for backup are as follows. What Google Takeout does from a backup, from a backup perspective is a full backup. A full backup means that it takes all the data every time it runs and it produces it. The problem with full backups is that as your data store scales, 
it becomes increasingly problematic that you're taking everything. There's two other forms of backup that are generally thought of as better slash smarter for um, use cases like this, where your data pool is changing only gradually. And those are differential and incremental backups. I sometimes get this wrong. I think differential records the changes since the last full backup and incremental Actually, I think I have this right, actually. Incremental is since the last backup. So with an incremental backup approach, if you have five files in January, and just to simplify here with the numbers, and in July you have six files, differential or incremental, you'd only pull in pull down that one file so that your backup archive... Now, of course, you, you would also want to be replicating your file deletions, your new directories your deleted directories, all the changes to the file system. So most backup approaches um, strive for whether you're talking about backing up a web server onto a backup server or backing up any source pool of data onto your target, you generally want to go for either differential or, incre or incremental. Because when our hypothetical five files becomes 100 terabytes, that becomes a problem that we're downloading every time. And, on a, you know, if it's only a few gigs have changed, we don't want to pull down every single time a needless 100 terabytes of data. This is where full backups fall down, right? Because let's say you ideally want to run it daily. Google Takeouts just does not work. It's not intended for that, right? You'd be doing a full backup daily of everything in Google and you'd be duplicating almost your entire Google data store every single day. So that's the number one reason uh, that it's not ideal. The second reason actually has to do with how Google organizes data. For YouTube, um, they have something called brand accounts. Google takeouts are done at that level that you're backing up your Google user. And if you want to back, out, back up a brand account, you need to swap into the brand account. And what happens if you have, I don't know, 20 YouTube channels, just to give an example, all under one management Gmail, and you need to back up all those. So you need to swap into each brand account 20 times, request a takeout, and it's buggy as well. Just take it from me because I've tried to do this. So that's the second limitation that um, Google Takeout is an imperfect um, snapshot really of your Google data. And if you have multiple data pools under brand accounts, not user accounts, it's not really very user-friendly. So what can you do instead? So this is actually a bit tricky. You'll see on Reddit, um, people that have devised various ways of doing this. One way you can back up Google Drive more uh, intelligently is using something called a mounting. You can mount the Google Drive. And once you have it mounted to your target, your, your operating system, you can run something like rsync um, and you don't even need to have it mounted actually to run rsync. You can do rsync, as, as far as I can recall, directly from the cloud. And rsync can do those differential incremental backups, actually incremental backups, that it's going to to pull, to pull Google Drive and say, what's new? Let's pull that down. Um, now, the problem is that Google Drive is only one Google product. What about Google My Maps that isn't a file system? What about Google, your YouTube videos that aren't a file system? To the best of my knowledge, there's really nothing you can do. I mean, you could you could every time you create a new YouTube video, save that to your local machine and back that up. That's your backup methodology. That's actually kind of what I do with my M-Discs. Um, but obviously these all require significant amounts of manual effort. And additionally, uh, we're only still talking about YouTube, right? There's, I think there's 60 services when you do a Google takeout that are um, that appear, 60 possible places you can have different amounts of data in Google. Um, and there is really, to the best of my knowledge, if you know of um, if you know of something else, if you know of a tool that exists, please correct me. Um, but this is a problem, basically. It's an open problem with SaaS backup for individuals that the backup companies have really looked at this problem mostly for enterprises because most consumers, the 99% of consumers just don't worry about their stuff in the cloud like you might do if you're watching this video. They say, it's Google has it, it's fine, what's going to happen? And there are reasons why you want to have a backup of your cloud data 
it's not just Google's going to disappear, lose your data, right? That that is quite improbable. What's more likely to happen is that you could have a ransomware attack on your cloud data. That's one reason you want to you want to back it up. The second one would be uh, more common is you get locked out of your Google account. I've seen this happen with people and Google support is like unreachable. Um, various kind of IP restrictions intended to prevent cybercrime but are a little bit too strict. I've seen that happen. I've had that happen to me, in fact. So, um, yeah, there are like legitimate uh, problems with just having, just putting up all your data in Google and saying, great, Google has it, no need to worry. And Google takeout is not ideal. In summary, what can you do? You get imaginative. For Google Drive, That there's a fairly easy solution out there. For YouTube, uh, I just dump videos on my NAS as I create them um, so that that's the data that I back up. That This is probably the, ans- the answer to what you can do is try to avoid creating data originally on the cloud because that gets really hard to back up. Try to create it locally, copy it locally, and then put it up to the cloud. And that's just, that's, you don't need to worry. That is the data that is there and you don't need to actually f- back that up from that point because stuff gets um stuff gets very complicated very quickly um as i've tried to explain uh thanks for watching this video hope it was helpful um if you have thoughts about this topic how to back up as a regular workspace or google consumer all your stuff across google services in a way that is not google takeout that is incremental or differential let me know in the comments um or you know if you if you know of something great i, I i've searched for it uh, myself and i haven't found it so anyway thanks for watching today's video hope it was interesting until the next one